Okay, so the first things we're going to be working on is going to be the weapons of the uh, your Raven. Hence, uh, also the core too. And there's just this basic parts here just need to put together. The beam rifle type weapon. Let's put it in there like so. Simple and easy. Parts has to be sand in certain areas. There's a decal sheet that goes in there, but I'm not going to put that there. So that takes care of that small little part. And we have this part here. With this little peg. Um, make sure it go make sure it looks like that. If you can see that. And we have the red part here. Connects to that. Like so. Then we have this. I'll bite this, slide that in. Come on, get in there. Ooh. There we go. Don't know if I'm going to remove that, if I want to paint, paint it separate, but that's done. Alright, so once that's done, then you take this, turn it around. Take this part, stick that here, take this part, put that through there, and then connect these two together, where the holes are. If you can. Come on. What am I doing wrong? Let's try that again. Like I always say, with feelings. So get that in there. There are two holes that go there. That goes, all right, there we go. There just, something was not pushed into place. There we go. Of course, this is going to be interesting for me to remove this later on, for me to paint it, but it is what it is. So then you have this part that goes into this. You still have this part here, it's a little loose. Okay. And then you have this detail part that goes there. And technically speaking, if you have it like this, this will hold up as a shield for the core too. Uh, as a matter of fact. Uh, try that. So you have the beam rifle. It goes there. Or beam pistol. Like that. And then you put that there for the shield. Which is, that's actually pretty nice. I kind of like that, that massive shield. There's a, a sticker here for some detail part, you know, but I'm not, again, not going to do that. But that actually really looks nice. Then, if you take the whole thing up, take that off, and take this off, put that here, and then take this, if I'm seeing it correctly, put it in the reverse, like that. Oops. I think that goes like that. Yep. It looks like that, but I guess you need the stand for it to hold it up and have it some sort of like a weird flying booster type thing. Like that. I gotta look at the anime again to see it in action when it had all those parts again. Alright. <clears throat> that completes the weapon set. There's also the beam saber um, effect parts for this, but I'm not going to put that on this. No. Alright, so we're done with this. Let's now move on to the next part. Oh, wait. As I was reviewing, I thought there was more parts to build, but no. Yeah, you need this to convert it into the core flyer. Silly me. So if I'm, let me just put, take out the gun. Put that there. Bring this arms down. 
Now it says to turn the arms, but the hands, but I don't know about that. But let's do this first. So this we turn around like that. The other way around. And then I guess we turn that around like that. I don't know. And we bring that up like so. And then we bring let me see here. Bring this up, bring this down, and then you bring this around like that. Strange. So it looks like that. And then the arms, you bring it up like this. Until it look oh, you gotta bring it up like that. Alright. So that goes like that. that. Now, take this part off again. We take this, we put that here again. And uh, I think there's the hole back here for this. I think. So you push that in there. Or no. Maybe not. Bring oh, I see why. Because we got to bring that up around. Okay. So there, that connects to that. Then bring the two parts here like that. And going back to this. You put that there. Pretty much it. it, it did I got it right? Hold on a second, guys. So we take this one off. Put that there. And then there's the hole that goes there. And now you have the core flyer mode. Okay, I can understand that. Uh, it'd be nice if the wings opened up a bit, you know. But it is what it is. This is going to be the only time you're going to see this core flyer mode. Um, but we need to do the other part, which is the core, um, the um, Uran the Uranus armor. So let's begin. Let's prepare the table for that. Hold on. Okay, so these are the parts that starts to make up the Ur the Uranus Gundam, the Uranus armor. Sorry. Interesting. And we're going to begin with these two large parts here, this one and this one, and we will connect that like so. Interesting little get up. Don't know where it begins and ends, but fair enough. Now we take these two side parts here. And I think. Hold on a second. Um, how is this placed? One goes there, the other one goes here. And then we have these two parts. One goes here. You know, one goes here. Just to hold these two parts into place. Followed by this part that goes here. Yeah. Interesting. So it looks like that. Two side parts goes here. 
in here, like that. Then we take this part goes here. This part goes there. And this part uh, no. We take this first, put that here, and put this one here. So it looks like that. Alright. Um, that completes that part of this. Put that here. And then this part makes up the other gun. Whoops. Hold on a second. We have the barrel. Hold on a second. It's gonna look goes like that. Alright. Uh, oh no. No 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 no. It's like this. Okay. Then close it up like so. Okay. Good detail on this. I don't see no issues with panel lining because it's, the seam line is right in be right right along the edge of the panel line itself. You have the barrel here. Which I'm going to have to sand down the edges. And we have these two, two um, handles here. One goes there. One goes here. And then you can close them up like that. And then take this and put it like that. Hold on a second. Oh, yeah. Goes like, I guess it goes like that. So it looks like this. Then you take this. No, sorry. I'm looking at it wrong. Get to the chopper. I think that's how it looks. Whoops. So, that's how it's supposed to look like, at this point. Continuing with the Uranus build armor, um, here are the other parts that I separated. And some of these parts, I'm just going to do this first. I do this three times, of course. That's a little thing that flies around. And then take this. I believe to this. Oh, I was right the first time. There's a Come on. There we go. So you have this little thing that does this. But I th think that's wrong. It has to go all the way around. Alright, so I was right to this one. There we go. So it goes like that. And it goes like this. Then we have this part. Um, if I have it that way, then I have to turn this part like this to look like that. doing something completely and utterly wrong? If I did this like this, and then I have it like that, it 
we maybe it's the other one no that's not right there is a hole there that goes into this but then there's a hole there that goes into that so it's this one right here there we go that was a bit weird okay sorry about that And then, <coughs> excuse me. Put that there. All right. All right. So that completes that, and then we take this. And supposedly, we do this. It goes there. And this goes here. So these two are done. Then we have these little small connectors here. Uh, that goes like that. Again. Oh, interesting. They're not different positions, so. Alright. Alright. So that takes care of that. Now, we would need. This. And that goes here. This goes there. So it looks like this. And then seal it up. Like so. It's a lot of work for this kit. A lot of work. <laughs> With the amount of parts I'm putting on this, I feel like I'm building a, a master grade. Alright, so then we have these two parts. One goes there. One goes here. We have the knee parts that go... Well, I'm saying knee parts because I think this is the, the armored parts to put the, the legs on. So you have those that look like this, and uh, put that to the side. Then we have these two. There are d um, stickers you could put on, but we're not going to do that again. That goes there. That goes there. And then, ooh. Two poly caps. Uh, we need number seven. There we go. So you take that, you put that on the set on the second hole, then you take this white part. Actually the third hole. So I like that. Seeing the engineering of this is completely opposite than what we are normally used to in normal hybrid in normal hybrid kits. I never thought I'd see something like this on a hybrid where the polycap is on the side, but it's clear it's for a specific reason. Let me take this. Let me stick that there, so it looks like that. And this one goes here for this. That's actually really nice. 
Oh, I took these two and I don't know where to go. You know what? I'm gonna put this to the side for later. Alright, so the, these two, these parts are now complete. Let's now move on to the next part of the manual for this build.